Worship. I'm Richard D. Hall and I'm extremely excited today because I have with me um, Professor John Searle and Fernando Morris. And Professor Searle is the inventor of the Searle Effect Generator, which I am fascinated by. And we, we watched uh, Bradley Lockerman's fantastic film last night, which charts some of the life of, of John Searle and uh, explains uh, your invention. And today we're going to actually go into some detail of that because um, I have a background in electrical engineering. I graduated in electrical engineering in 1990 from Newcastle University. So I've got some interesting questions that, that I'd like to ask you. Um, so, John, can you just tell us about the dreams first? Because you derived some of the information from dreams. That's can correct. You can, can you start by telling us about uh, that? Well, uh, there were two different dreams, but both are related. Mm -hmm. First one showed you the mathematics to use and what's going to happen mm -hmm. if you don't uh, get this technology out of the field, out of the field, of the field. The thing is, what it's saying is that if you don't, then all life is going to end in due time much sooner than expected. Right. And what is saying that you're going to be uh, developing a very great pressure and force with this gigantic steam rolling coming towards you. Right. So at that point you just wake up screaming because mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. you're going to be crushed. Right. And, but basically the, the illustration is a game called Hopscotch. Right. Uh, every child mainly had the luck of playing it. Mm -hmm. But there was three scale, uh, squares, uh, vertical, two horizontal, one vertical and two horizontal. Mm -hmm. The pebble was always in square three. Mm -hmm. Of course, as a child, I didn't know what that meant. Mm -hmm. But what happened is that every time the dream was exactly the same, mm -hmm. always the same, your left leg is on the ground, your right leg is up in the air mm -hmm. to cross over three into four. Mm -hmm. I always wondered why this mm -hmm. happened. And then the second dream also has shown you some sort. It showed a very long ladder going to the loft mm -hmm. that you went to every night to get bales of straw to re-bed the hens. So mm -hmm. they always had fresh straw every night. Mm -hmm. On this occasion, the height of that loft is many times higher than normal. Mm -hmm. When I enter, instead of bells of straw, we have this circle of the straw mm -hmm. with lines, straw going out like spikes of a bicycle wheel. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly it catches fire mm -hmm. and I'm in the middle of it because mm -hmm. I wake up screaming. Right. And what it's all saying as time went on is that A, you're going to be involved two, with two distinct objects. That is a PAR system and a flying system. Right. Then, of course, uh, Nancy had said, everyone was disappeared. Mm -hmm. The one who disappeared was me. Mm -hmm. uh, the records, school records, I uh, say, he disappeared. Mm -hmm. But then when I checked the date of that school, mm -hmm. then I checked the date I entered the naval school, there are ten days missing with right. no explanation. Okay. Now, I'm just going to summarize because n not everyone who's watching this will be aware of what the machine is. It is a machine which produces electricity with no physical fuel source. Then itself. Yeah. So, um, it appears to be getting power from an invisible source. But no, the, the source in the first place is in the rare earth itself. In the rare earth, in rare earth uh, yeah. element. We have these extra band of electrons, right. which nobody can, can explain why right. these rare earths behave in this manner. Right, and are they extracting those electrons from the surrounding environment then? Yes. Right, yes. so they're pulling electrons, and do those electrons get turned into photons then uh, throughout the generator? Well, what's um, happening is that the, well, first of all, the SEG is a converter right. of existing energy all around us. And that energy, we can actually feel as temperature, body temperature, which right. is why when John tried to uh, 
get a hold of the SEG, his hands got very cold. Right. Uh, anything that is um, at the atomic level, mm -hmm. vibrating, uh, electrons moving about, all that chaos, mm -hmm. that's a source of energy. So the SEG is a converter of kinetic energy that we all feel right. all around us. So is the device um, destroying any matter, any mass? That's the beauty of the SEG. It doesn't destroy anything. Right. It's sort of like taking um, water from a dam. Uh -huh. Are you destroying the water that's coming in uh -huh. and what's coming out? It's still the same. The difference is there's kinetic energy and with the SEG it utilizes it. Right. It makes it coherent, useful electrical current. Okay. Uh, thanks, um, Fernando. Now, I just want to, f I want to first go into the materials and the physical structure of the device. And then I want to go into the operational side. Okay, an explanation of how the magnetic fields and if there are any electric currents in there. Um, firstly, the materials. There are four materials, John. Yeah? Right. Now, we've got copper, which is a conductor. Yeah? Mm. You've got, I believe, um, a magnetic material. We've got the rare earth. Is it the rare earth? Teflon. Te Teflon is the... Teflon or dielectric to, to help yeah. regulate the... Flow. That's the fourth yeah. one. That's the third. The third one. And the then fourth, is the innermost, is neodymium. Okay, so if we go out from the center, because we'll we've, we've got a solid ring in the center, and then we've got the rollers, and they're made of the same material, yeah? yeah? So from the center, let me go out and explain the materials. You've got, what, the first one is? The, the most dense, and that's neodymium. Neodymium. That's the, that's the reservoir of electrons. That right. go there. Just like a dam has a reservoir of water. Then the next layer? Then you have the, the dielectric. Think of that as the, the dam, what holds it's back a, the Like a dam, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Then we've got? The magnetic. Right. Which makes the whole thing work. So just a, like a generator. A magnet ring. in the shape of a ring. Yeah. 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 And then we've got the copper. Is that the, the copper, right. Copper. The and that's where the, uh, uh, the electrons are emitted from and the eddy currents develop as well. Yeah. Right. And the, I believe the magnet has to be magnetized in a very specific <laughs> way. Yes. So does it, when you, when you manufacture the magnet, does it start off as a magnet or do you have to magnetize it? It's a blank. It's a blank. We magnetize it in a right. unique fashion, in a way that, uh, uh, that it's not done by the industry. Right. So it's a unique process. So where is, where is the north and the south in the disk then? Is, is but the, the north is normally, if you stand it up at the top, right. south is down at the bottom of the way. Right. The bottom half on an analyzer, you see, it's compact, it's very dark, and very little darkness in the top, the north right. side. So the rollers have something to roll out. Well, they float on that. Right. So, so am I right in thinking that the rollers, which the rollers have identical, the identical same four materials throughout yes, them, yes. you know, as from the center outwards, right? Now, am I right in thinking that, they, that you've got north, south, north, south, north, south four times throughout it's, that? It's all north, south. It's just that there's variations, a sine wave type variations right. uh, throughout its periphery. So it's not, the rollers are not north at the top and south at the bottom then? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, they are. Uh, so, so, but does, so do you get, for example, is the roller made of four, four parts that are put together? Four? Eight, eight of them. Eight. Eight okay. segments makes a roller. Right. And does each roller have a north and south? North and Yes, top? they do, but they have variations, which, it, oh, which is the waveform we're talking about. Right. right. So it's a very special type of so magnetization then, it's not... It's very special, yes. Every right. segment, eight segments, are individual magnets, right. well, magnetic devices. Yes. They have information printed on each one. Right. They're not only magnets, and through mm. the center it's a monopole that holds them together. Right. Now normally, that the fields pull each one too tight, mm -hmm. so we have to on one side of the face of each segment, we have to put another wave on that gently eases it off the one below it. Right. So that eases it. So are, are all eight of the, of the parts that make up the roller, are they all identical or are they all different? They're all identical. They're all identical, yeah. right. And, what, and is the central part made up of eight slices as well? No. That's a just it's one. It's just a single. A single. Think of that it's as the fixed standard, right. And, right. but it does have a, way, uh, a type of waveform. Right. And Let's just, let's just go on to the operational side of it, because will it work with just the central core and one set of rollers? Will it, will it produce... Uh, they will all spin, and of course, if you advance a coil with a bulb, 
to pick up that energy, right. it will it light the bulb. Yeah, in right. theory, you can have one roller going around, but to make one it single roller. One single roller. And that'll be enough to demonstrate the Searle effect, which is right. the objective of our company, Searle Magnetics. Right. Good. Now then, let's just go on to the uh, operational side now that we've had a look at the materials. Every electric motor works on using the Lorentz force yeah, the, uh, that we know uh, of in electrical right. engineering. Okay? You have Fleming's right-hand rule sure. where you have um, a current in, 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 you know, at, at right angles to each other. Sure. So you've got yeah. the current, you've got a, um, a field, sure. second, sorry, f um, first finger field, second finger current thumb, it m moves yeah. that way. You have to have the two and it moves that way. Of course. Now, is there electric current in this generator? Definitely. And you can use those um, right-hand principle, I mean, uh, right-angled uh, vectors on the SEG. The electric is from the axis radially out. The magnetic is, um, you know, vertically. So and velocity is the So the electric current is going from the center from the, the very center, center and radi radiating out. Outwards in all directions. Yes, correct. Yeah. So that's a bit like a Faraday disk then. Uh, like yeah. or like a yeah, monopolar uh, yes. generator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from a, a technical perspective, the, the SEG is legitimately a motor or a generator, right. depending on your motor. Yeah. Okay. Because right. You you have to bear in mind, in normal generation, that the electrons are all at random, mm -hmm. at random state. This uh, unit don't allow that. It brings them into a uniform, mm -hmm. which means now. The power moving through like a diode through the system mm -hmm. is very compressed and it's very powerful, mm -hmm. which a normal generator that does all the time, ra random, all the way through the system. So you right. generate heat. When they compress like that, the electrons can't bang about. Mm -hmm. so they're, they're tied like a load of traps traveling in one direction. Mm -hmm. So you don't get this loss of energy from the uh, generation. Right. right. You have to make a distinction between Joust technology and a uh, normal tech that we're used to. At the atomic level, uh, you see a, a lot of uh, random process taking place, which creates heating and all that. Right. Uh, SEG, the SEG technology is uniform. Right. In other words, it's coherent, yeah. vibrating, directional. Uh, you don't have the chaos. Right. And that's the difference. So, so when the electric current reaches the outside of the, of the, of the inner ring, how does it, does it go through the rollers then? Or we're, we're dealing with a different kind of electricity here. Right. We're, we're all used to the single electron that acts like yeah. a particle bouncing around, kicking yeah. around. And, you know, it, it accelerates, stops because it, it comes across an, an atom or something. Yeah. It accelerates, stops. Sorry, just, just like that. You've got a few military Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> I have. Really. Can we I think they're on to us. I think it'll be okay. I'm sure. Yeah. You like a drink, John? It's we're not, we're not clipping them. It's all right. Right. Let's go. Right. Uh, yeah. We talked about the electric current being different to uh, what we would normally think of, of electricity flowing down a, a single wire. Is, is right. Conventional electricity u utilizes the, a, a, an electron, but with the SEG, it actually forms um, a pair of electrons uh, or a boson. Right. And that's it. You still get the electric currents and all that. Mm -hmm. It's just that it behaves more like a photon. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it does exit the machine, it splits up again, and you see a little bit of a uh, halo because photons are being emitted. Right. I, I have interviewed a guy who uh, has written a book all about um, uh, photons and electrons, and he believes that 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 a photon, sorry, that, that a photon, sorry, an electron is basically a photon mm -hmm. in a like a, in a double loop. Right. So, so, there's, so that's where you've got this distinction between um, matter and energy. You know, the, the photon is energy with no mass, whereas the electron is mass. And you know, so, so, you, so the, at what point are we creating photons? Where do the photons emerge? Uh, be, between uh, material layers. Right. Uh, using the uh, a Hall effect. Right. Uh, and uh, that's how um, uh, electrons are compressed. And once they become uh, a pair of electrons, it becomes a different entity. It no, it no longer behaves like a normal electron. Mm -hmm. It behaves more like a photon. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you, you have high velocities, whereas normal electricity that you have here, yeah. is, it just it has a drift velocity of a mm -hmm. fraction of an inch per second and creating a lot of heating. 
with the SEG, by the time it exits, it could be going at, at the, near the speed of light.